What's your name? Arr! Holy Parrot! Okay. And what's my name? <coughs> oh, you. I've told you. Stop teaching her rude words. Hello, and welcome to Ark Survival of Old. We're on the extinction map, and today we're in the snow biome because I want to start breeding snow owls. Um, I've got some higher level ones now. I mean, I was quite lucky to get a 180, and then I got a 180 male, and then I got a 168 female. So I want to breed them up because uh, probably not. Although Ozzy's been great, I mean, he came from. I think his parents were a 90 and a 96 when I got them. Um, I mean, he's been absolutely wonderful, but I could quite do with something a, with a bit higher level, maybe. And um, but ideally with. Uh, more interesting colours. I want to see what sort of colours I can get out of these owls. So I had a bit of a think and I thought what I'm going to do is I'm going to breed each individual dino in the area that I get it from. I mean except from those from the wasteland because <laughs> I'm not going to be building anything out there. Uh, it just won't last, uh, won't last long enough. So what I've done is I've built this big um, breeding pen if you will. Um, I ended up having to put a big behemoth gate on it because of the managama it can't fit through a normal stone gate. So I've got this big big one here so I can at least get them through. And then I've put some layers in. So I've got one layer where I'll do the snow owls, one layer that gives me uh, room for the uh, dire wolves. And I wanted to add a bit of lighting up into these little edges here. Uh, you can see where I've got the... Um, where I've got the, the little railings out there for instance just once this thing loads up just there where I've put the little railings there but the problem is you don't get so like the equivalent of braziers that you would get on uh, say like Conan for instance so I've just popped a couple of um, standing torches there for now so at night they, they do at least light up a bit but uh, and anyhow I mean I mean this took a long long amount of work to do because of the amount of stone that I needed the amount of wood and so on um, I mean just just ignore Manny here he's a He's a mammoth, he was just wandering around down there, a 168 uh, male that I found. I've, I want to run some like some sort of test with him later on, so um, the plan today really is just to start breeding up snow owls. But before I get started, I mean, if at any time you do find yourself liking the video, then do please click the like button. Uh, that will help me out a great deal. And if you're new to the channel, then yeah, do subscribe, but... Uh, just remember to click the little bell icon and then that way you'll get notifications for when new content comes out. And uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions, anything you know about this video or anything you'd like to see in a future video for instance, then do please post that in the comment section below. But anyway, what I've done, I'll just open the door up here. I've got this ground floor section and that's where I'm going to keep Managamas. I mean I still need to find a, a decent high level male. Then on this level, I've got myself an air conditioner, I've got a hatchery to just to speed up the the uh, the egg hatching process. I mean, all that does is just save me time, basically. So once an egg's dropped, then uh, that'll pick it up. The hatching time just basically drops down to about one percent, and then I can just pop it out there in front of the air conditioner, and it'll get hatched. And up here, I've I've got another hitching post I've put aside for some dire wolves. I've had to put them in different different places. Like there's that one there, is in that corner. There's the one here, which is at the front, and then the one downstairs on the ground floor is right at the back because they, they can't overlap with each other. So yeah, when I bring the dire wolves over, I'll bring them over here. Um, don't know why it's snowing inside. I mean, it's. <laughs> An interesting feature. Uh, Mighty Moose over there. I mean, he's he's come in handy for collecting the thatch. And then I've got Dipsy, who was I was using her, uh, her to help me get the stone. So I've got these two here. Uh, I need to get them started. Uh, Meaning these two. I mean, let's say I had a, I found I was really really fortunate. I thought to get a, like a 180 male, but the trouble is the the problem I found with that is. The only decent stat that it had on it was its uh, was its weight. Um, when I compared him with a 168 female I caught later, I mean he he had much lower health, much lower stamina, much lower melee as well. So I've ended up breeding those two together though, and I've getting the best stats out of the both of them. So now I've got these two here, 
uh, level 279. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be breeding these two together uh, to get some mutations and then it's a case of once I've got enough I'll start hatching them out and um, then I'll bring you back once I've got something more interesting. Okay so I've just hatched out some eggs, I've got about five there and I've ended up with um, these these ones here they're all level 279 so there's nothing wonderful about them. Uh, this one here it's a level 281 female. Now this one has got 2795, 2240, actually I better get some uh, some meat for this little one otherwise it'll starve, it won't it won't eat off the, the trough yet. Uh, I'll just get that off uh, Thylacordial here first. There you go. So yes that's what 2795, 2240. 2795, 2240. Uh, 783, 72. Right, so that one's got extra melee. Now we're a female, so we'll change you on him. It's your melee level 1. Now I'm not seeing any anything in the colours. Nothing that I recognise anyway. Which is a bit of, bit of a shame, but you do, sometimes the colour doesn't always show. You know, you can get the stat but not the colour. And... Okay, so I'm just going to keep breeding these up. Uh, and then I'll bring you back once I've got something more interesting. Right, well, so I'm making some progress. So, I mean, we've got this... Uh, this one here that's matured up now, it's a female with uh, an extra level in melee, uh, but she doesn't have any colours. I've got this male who's got an extra weight, but I don't notice any colours on him. Now I've got another male over here. Now he's got oxygen. He's got an extra level in oxygen, so he's got an interesting green colouring to him. Uh, around the front, around the wing area. But what I've got here is a female who's got stamina. She's got an extra level in stamina. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep breeding. I've started breeding the, uh, her with the male. At least I think I did. I must have disabled. I think I was trying to move everything around. Because um, I'm running I'm running out of space. I'm gonna, I think I'll end up putting some of these into cryopods or something. Uh, right, so, yeah, I'll turn that one back on. Oh, I'll have that. Thank you. Are you going to get back to mating? Maybe? Sometimes it gets a bit stuck, so I don't know why. But, um, I've got some more eggs here. So I'll just pop these ones out. Because these are... These should be from those two, the male and the female because it was more the colouring I'm interested as I say than the, the stats to be honest because Aussie's, Aussie's, Aussie only came from a, like a 90 and a 96 I think it was and he's been perfectly fine for what I'm what I use him for so let's pop these out and see what we get so we'll look for something higher than 281 right no joy there so it's just a case I'm just going to keep breeding them until I get something hopefully better than level 281 that's got uh, more colours. So I'll keep doing that uh, and I'll bring you back. Okay so I'll be making some more progress. Um, I'm not going down the normal so like route of mutating a dino and uh, breeding that back to one of the uh, so like original males or females as such. I'm basically targeting the colour um, at this stage so I mean obviously I won't be able to get like a super duper dino but that's not really my focus it's the colour. So what I did was I mean these were like the first wave if you will so I've got this this male who's got a bit of green plumage and the female here with some blue plumage. I thought she had a stamina uh, mutation it doesn't turns out she doesn't it's actually in weight 
But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So what I've done is I, I took these two together. So instead of sort of like breeding this one with the original female, um, I bred these two together. And I did actually achieve something. I got two, I got two females here that are blue and um, green. So they've got the blue blue chest with a bit of green plumage around. Um, I then I wanted to get something more out of that, so what I did is I've, I've bred them back with the original male because I didn't really have anything else to go with as such. I mean, there's a I think there's a male up there who's got melee, but he he doesn't have any colour. So what I've done is I've I managed to get two two females out of a, a breeding process, uh, bred them with this male, and I've ended up with some some quite interesting sort of variations to be honest. Uh, this male's come out with an extra food. He's he's got the the blue chest, but he's got a he's gone off with like some kind of like orangey brown, I'd say, plumage there. So he didn't pick up the green. This this one picked up the green as well as a bit of orangey brown. She's got a she's got an extra uh, level in stamina. I mean, they should have weight, oxygen, and something else, but that hasn't come through for some reason. But I'm going to hold on to her because of um, she's got the stamina. Now this one's interesting because I've got this male here. He's come out with the same weight and oxygen, so he's on. Uh, let's double check. So he's got uh, two, two, so eight forty oxygen, seven nine five weight. So yeah, so he's got those, but he's come out. He hasn't got any of the the blue or the green. Um, so he's the same level as those two, but he's got, I'm kind of like favouring the, the brighter red over that lighter colour to be honest. Um, so I think what I might do is, I think I might breed him back with the two females, just to see if I can get the, the colouring in place. Then at some point I want a male so I can get um, the extra stamina, but I do actually prefer that I must admit. It's a brighter colour. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look. I mean, I'll see what, what this one comes out like in comparison to see if I breed him back with them. But at this stage, I think I'm favouring the red. I mean, this one, it doesn't have anything on the back plumage. This one does, though. Which is another reason I quite like her, because she's got a nice nice shade in there on the, on the back uh, feathers. But this is going to be the next stage, I think. I'll, I'll take the original male out, breed her read the other two females with him and then I'll I'll see what I come up with. Well after a lot of eggs, and I mean a lot, a lot of eggs, I haven't been able to get one that came out with the, the patterns that I was expecting or was hoping for, but it's interesting, this one came out, just popped up with uh, some interesting colour. Um, it's actually got an extra oxygen on it, this one's got um, extra weight and two extra oxygen, but there's this one over here. I really like this one. This one, it doesn't have the the, the blue colouring, but it's the same as that one. It's got uh, one extra weight and two extra oxygen. So I think it's just the, the back plumage and the, the side plumage. So I mean, I mean that one there was the male that I was breeding up. So that's got just down the side there. So you can just trying to see because if that's uh, I think that's got red where the green is on that one I keep double checking so because there's that there's that little grey patch down the middle that I'm trying to get I'm trying to find something to fill that in there's obviously I mean the chest's now done that side of the wings I quite like the contrast with the, the yellow and the green to be honest but I need something for the back now this one, this one actually has some colour on the back, so it's obviously possible to get colour on the back, but I, I'm not sure, I mean these are two, the two females I've been using, so I don't think there's any gain in breeding it with them. I mean I've got a male over there that's got, this one here has got extra, extra melee, oh, it's a female with extra melee, so I think I might breed this male here with her to bring the, the melee in. But then I'm going to have to find some other colours to try and get um, 
get this one completed. So it's going to be a case of hatching more and more eggs really and just uh, keep trying to get something that's got a complete set of colours so it's going to take a while but I mean Raptor Claws is running around now so that gives me something else to keep me occupied while all these uh, egg eggs are getting made so once I've got something more interesting I'll bring you back. Okay so after hatching out some eggs and then some more eggs and some more eggs and even more eggs and then a lot more eggs managed to get to the point where I've got this this female here uh, she's got like a yellow yellow front and uh, down the ankles as well and green uh, wings if you will uh, a bit more green on on that region because I'd, I'd bred one of these up with, with those colorings uh, with, a, with another one that didn't have any colorings but at least had melee so I've got to the point where I've got one one in extra in weight two in oxygen one in melee but it's, it's more the colours I was interested in and um, I'm kind of kicking myself because I was trying to I mean originally I was trying to get one with a blue blue front uh, with some green and a bit of red and then I kind of realised way, way down the line that the red and the green overlap because it's exactly the same same region so it would never have worked uh, so that's a bit of a pain so what I thought is I'd, I'd bred these two together here um, that one it's got the red because I was interested to see what red and yellow would look like instead so I've done that and I've got this little this little one over here so I've got a female one here and I've got a, a male over there I mean I, I did a bit more breeding to get this one uh, quite a lot more hatching because I wanted a male one because um, the plan was maybe if I, if I go down that route I'll I'd rather have the male with a color and what I've got is I've got those two, so I've got a male and a female with a red, a mixture of red and um, yellow. So I do quite like that. The only issue is there's no, there's this, this bits missing where it's still kind of like grey. I don't have anything on the back now. This one came out at some point now. Uh, she's got an extra level in stamina. She's a, she's actually got two levels in weight. Which is interesting. So there's quite a few. I've ended up with quite a few mutations. as extra. So at some point I want to breed. I'll probably. Uh, where's the male there? I'll probably breed him with her, because then at least I'll get the the stamina and the extra extra weight in there. Because he's got one in weight, she's got two. So I want to breed these two together, and then I'll get some better stats. But this one does have some colouring on the plumage on the back, on the feathers on the back there. I'm interested in if I can get another colour, but I think it would be a case of getting those two bred together until I've got a, all the stats mixed in the proper colours. And then I think I might just keep uh, keep breeding a male and a female up. They're identical in the, in the colours until I get uh, just maybe more mutations. The only trouble is when you start mixing mutations though, it starts to get a bit messy. So I mean I've already got like seven on that side and three on that side. Let's see what she's like. Because they all come out at different stages sometimes. So that's alright, so they're both they're both identical, seven and three. She's two and five. Because at some point she came along and then these ones came along afterwards. But yeah, I think I'll uh, I think I'll start breeding these two, because I've stopped those two breeding, so I'm gonna start start breeding these two in the hope I'll get uh, some better colours out of, you know, once I've mixed up all the, the stats and got the stats lined up a bit better. So, I'll bring you back when I've got there. Right then, so I managed to get these uh, these two bred up. So they've taken the stats from both the male and the female. They've also got the colours, so you've got like the yellow front, some um, some red around the sides, and then there's a kind of a kind of like a peachy colour around which runs all the way around to the back. So I've got two identical ones that, uh, that I've managed to breed up. So I've got those breeding some more. I mean there's still quite a bit of scope in terms of mutations because we've used up about half them on the on the, um, the father's side and uh, seven on the, the mother's side. So that's still a bit of room to manoeuvre. I mean I, I was actually out and about um, and I was thinking you know it might be possible to actually just combine some of the some of the colours that are in this uh, Christmas event. Actually so I mean I, I got this one it was just a little low level 12 I think this one is. So there's a potential to maybe like introduce a bit of green for the back, for instance. 
I was I did actually see a nice lovely um, one out there that was red and green but uh, it despawned I went back to um, I went back to the I, I'd caught it uh, tranked it and it was in the trap but then um, I didn't have my, any kibble on me I wanted to see what kind of kibble it would use and um, went over the forest got a load of kibble brought it over uh, unfortunately it despawned by then so that was a shame because it had some right uh, nice red uh, plumage on the back so it's, it, I think it had sort of like kind of like green by the sides and then it was red a lovely shade of red kind of a dark scarlet red it was, it was a lovely color but sadly I, I lost it because I was thinking maybe of like breeding like the green one because there's a I've got one which is a green a mixture of green and yellow and that that might actually benefit from sort of like either I mean I'm thinking of kind of like a parrot sort of thing really to end up with like a blue color down there down the side or red maybe that would have been nice but I'll, I'll just have to see what I see but in, in terms of colors I mean I'm quite I'm quite happy with that because it's a nice it's a kind of nice blend actually uh, I do like that color so I'm just gonna keep breeding them to see what I can get out of them I mean I've hit what level level 291 so I've getting one stamina two oxygen two weight and one melee I mean obviously the oxygen's no good I'm, I'm only recording it so I can keep track of the colors more than anything um, I mean it would benefit from a lot more like health and a lot more stamina but it's not a it's not that crucial in terms of like what I need from an owl I usually most yeah I usually use them mostly for uh, for scouting around so uh, I'll spend a bit more time seeing what I can get out of these two to see if I can make any improvements in the stats maybe or even some colors but uh, yeah I quite like what I've got so far so uh, I'll bring you back once I've, uh, I've finished all this off okay change of plans this is this is what I'm aiming for now this is just so cool I mean I've, I've, I've bred those two together and I've got this one here it uh, popped out with uh, an extra stamina so this one here it's pretty much at its limit now because you can see I mean this is these are more or less doubled up from what the, the parents are see I'm right at the edge now now this little uh, little dude here what I did is I mean I mean it's level 145 so I'm gonna have to seriously get the uh, the levels up just make sure it's not following me but what I did is I went out I was having a look around um, I mean I've managed to get myself another managama a managama I should say just about not not a particularly high level one but um, I'm trying to get a much higher level one at the moment so I've, I've got these those two there but I found this uh, this snow owl here with a nice red uh, red plume at the back and uh, I mean it's green at the front Right, just squeeze past. Can, can you let me pass, please? It's like lime green at the front, but it's got the red, so that that to me blends in much better. So I've I've got it breeding with this one here. So this this female, she's a two eighty seven. So as long as I keep those two breeding, I should at some point be able to get the level I want, which is two eighty seven. And uh, but it'll have the mixture of the colours. So I want I want the stats from from this one on the right but that mix of colors that you just saw upstairs if I can just get past again get I squeeze past please so yeah I, I definitely like that that's uh, it's just a combination that that's a nice blend I like that because it blends in but that that kind of like stands out for me so I'm just gonna I'm, I think that's going to be my end goal now. Unless something really odd comes out, that is definitely going to be the end goal. One nice, a nice mixture of uh, yellow, green, and red. So, right. So hopefully, I will be able to wrap this up once I've uh, finally got one of uh, of that colour, but with all the stats. So, see you once that's done. So there you go. Then we have now got our own cybernetic poly parrot. Lovely, lovely colours. I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with those. I mean, I think I'm kind of lucky in some respects because of the, um, 
the actual you know Winter Wonderland event that's gone on it made it made it so I could just let me go out and get a uh, an owl that had the red colours you know on the back because this one's got red on the on the back feathers and what have you so I do like that I mean I I could have kept breeding and eventually I'd probably be getting that anyway uh, through mutation and it, you could go for like an old an old variant where it's like blue for instance instead of red but I do like that I like that a lot um just see what she's like I'll just get her to follow me so come on come on Polly Parrot so you can see she's got like you know yellow on the underwings as well so uh yeah I definitely like that like it a lot I mean I could have I could have spent more time I suppose if I was really interested in the stats I could have because I had a had a male that had the Christmas colors and I had a a, a bread owl that had um, it was yellow and green had the yellow and green on it I could have kept breeding those two together until I got a I think it was like a 187 and then I could have bred that back to the originals and then just kept trying to get mutations on one of those for instance uh, for their offspring kept breeding it back and you know, repeating the process of breeding the uh, the mutated one back to the to the original um, original parents, but um, it would have taken too long. I mean, it, it takes very long for for me to do this sort of thing because I'm running on a on a, like a on a PC. The game and the server, everything is running on that same um, computer. And as soon as the game gets turned off, that's it. Everything stops on the on an actual public server. Though, what would happen is I could take a pair of owls, keep them breeding overnight, come back the next day and have a, have a lot of eggs, for instance, in that hatchery. Because I've set it on that, that S plus hatchery, I've set it so it can store like about, I think the max is about a thousand or something, so it could have stored all of them. I could have come back the next day and had about a thousand eggs, I could have tested out, but that's not something I have, I'm just running everything on a single computer. So basically it's just, I'm only getting eggs for as long as I'm actually playing the game. Um, so instead what I did is I think there was a I had, I had one of um, one of the owls that had these colours a low level one I bred that back to the I think it was the 291's I had they had a slightly different kind of like a peachy colour instead of the red I bred, I bred it with one of those until I got uh, a 291 with these colours and then I bred that one with a 293 that had the extra stamina and then that got me the um, got me this one. Basically, um, Polly Parrot here. She's the she's the offspring of a, a 293 male and a 293 female that have these colours. I think she was the second or maybe the third egg that hatched, because I know at least one of them before her had different colours. Um, so you can get all sorts of still variations without you know extra mutations because there's there's a lot of colours have come through all these mutations that I've been producing. But it just means that if, if something unfortunate were to happen to Polly Parrot here, I've got the original male and female that I can use to, to breed another one. I mean that, that, that can happen. I mean everything's expendable on Ark. Um, I mean I've already found that I've been looking around um Honey the Dire Bears disappeared disappeared. Uh, she was in a cryopod last time I saw her, so I've no idea what's happened to her. Uh, Mary the Mesopithecus has gone walk about as well. I'd, I'd left her at a base, and um, she's just vanished. So I don't know what happened to her either. I had a load of, I think it was a load of uh, flak armor. Uh, I had about two sets of flak armor, two sets of riot gear, all of those that had come from the gatchers. And now all I've got left for some reason is about, I think I've just got the chest pieces and uh, maybe another couple of parts of the riot gear, but all the flat gear is gone. So I've no idea what's happened to that. Um, it's a bit unfortunate, but you know, these sort of things happen. So if I'm ever going to have a, like a, a, a team like one of these where I'm going to be regularly using it, I like to have one that's expendable, one that's easily replaceable. And that, that's something I can do now, which is great. So uh, that's it pretty much for this video. I mean, I'm going to be using Polly Parrot now from now on. Ozzy, I mean, I had to send him out on to uh, have a nice holiday. Um, at least that's what I told him. I, I actually put him into a cryopod. <laughs> so he, he he's probably thought he was going on a wonderful holiday and now he's, he's, he's gone to sleep for a long time. Um, 
But uh, the plan is basically I'll, I'll be using her just like I did with Ozzy. I'll use her as a scout. Um, if there's any particular situation I, I run into, so for instance I might suddenly decide I need to like tame a T-Rex for instance, I could just land her, jump out, pop uh, like Freya out from a cryopod and then pop her into a cryopod and then off we go, me and Freya can then go and tame um, the T-Rex. It's a, it's a lot easier having having these cryopods being able to do that sort of thing. Um, so. I, I do, I do definitely enjoy these owls. I'm using them a lot more than I originally expected, to be honest. So anyway, that, that is it for this video. I, I do hope you've enjoyed watching it. If so, then do please leave a like, because that will help me out a great deal. And um, if you've got any comments or suggestions, or there's anything in particular you'd like to see on the, uh, on the channel, then do please post that in the comments section below. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content, then yeah, do please subscribe. Just remember to click the little bell icon as well though to, uh, to get notifications for when new content comes out. So until the next video, thanks very much for watching. Bye!